All right, speaking with Coach H. Coach, um, a couple of days after the game, how have things been in the camp and um, your mentality going into tomorrow's game? Well, it's good. It's good. I, I really would like to give credit to the boys. They have been very professional in everything they have been doing. It's, it's the first national team camp for a lot of players. Uh, so I would give them a, a lot of credit for how they have behaved, how they have trained on meetings. So we are just trying to, to build something to explain our emphasis in football. So. Yeah, I, I've been really happy with the players. Of course, nobody likes to lose. I'm not going to say, it's, it, you should never say after losing a game, that is, it's not about winning or losing this camp, but it's more, more about giving players a chance to show what they can do, if they can be a part of uh, you know, the, the next one, next camp, or the Mexico camp, the Gold Cup. Can they be a part of that? Or are they not ready? Can we wait? Do we need to wait a year for them to be ready, etc.? So we just. We just Training on, on matches we are you know, where we are with these, with these guys are just there of, of being in, in, the, in the first team. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the, the camp with it itself. Nobody likes it, but we are happy with the camp. Hopefully we can turn the, the, the loss to a win in the next game. But it's not about it's not about that. We have already before decided who will play and we would like to see everyone in the in, in the squad to play everyone a chance to show what they can do and they deserve it. Coach, obviously it's not just about the result, but performance as well. Part of the performance comes from your opponents of play. Um, what do you make of Trinidad and do you think that based on what you saw from the last game, they were giving you enough to, to be the test yourselves to get away from this point? Yeah, more than enough they won. So they, 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 uh, they, they probably were happy with their performance in, in the match. I'm not particularly worried about what they are doing. I have enough with what we are doing. Uh, so we are just focusing on Jamaica and the players for us. It's a, it's a competitive uh, team, Trinidad, so I give them a lot of credit. They were, they were organized, they were difficult to break down. Uh, and, and I think we have to give them credit for, for the way they played. It was tough, but we have to focus on us. And also Saturday was your first game here in Jamaica in front of a home club. What was that experience like for you and were you were there any jitters for you knowing that you have to perform in front of your home fans for the first time? No, it's not the first time I, I play in front of a home crowd with a national team, so I know everything about that. Uh, yeah, I would like the, the people here of course to support the players uh, and give them give them the help they need to win the matches and perform good that's the only thing i ask for what people say about me is it doesn't matter at all what about the the, the, the venue you're, you're at a you're at national stadium now um how much you're, you're seeing the surface as, a, as opposed to Mobi. what do you make of it for the club? this one is the best pitch in in the country i've seen so far so all the credit to the people working on the pitch here uh, respect to them uh, so it is what it is uh, and, and Every time I come, everybody's asked about the surface. But this is just, you know, my opinion. I have to tell my opinion. But when it comes to playing, we have to accept what we have. So I'm not complaining about the pitch once we are at, at, at games. It is what it is. And we have to just adapt to the, to the circumstances. Coach, in terms of approach and performance, what exactly are you looking for from your players tomorrow? No, we should be, we should be now. Given the first game, uh, I said before, a lot of, a lot of players played the first national team game, the first senior national team game. Even some were playing the first game from Jamaica. So, uh, and a lot of them are really young players. So we have to give them a, a slack. Of, for some, it's maybe too much. So we are just looking at that, where the players are. To, tomorrow we'll play probably. Probably we play all the players that didn't play and participate in the in the game, the first game. So we could see new faces again, new players playing with each other. So you could see in the in the match in particular way that the understanding between the players were not maybe perfect because they have never played. So somebody wanted to 
short, the pass came long, somebody wanted it long, yeah. the pass came short, so not only uh, technical mistakes, but also misunderstanding between players, and that happens when you, when you have new players, and especially new players and young players, playing together for the first time. Coach, uh, of course, the, the squad will get together again next week. What are the plans going forward? Because everything that you do now will be uh, pointing toward Mexico. What are the plans going forward? No, Mexico is just one step into the World Cup in 2026. I would say this game uh, in Mobe was a good one. Was a, was a good one. Was a good prep for the future. We, we gave some players the, the first cup. We we gave them experience, and we could see. Are they ready for the future? That is where we are looking at when we have this. So it's not about the result and the performance today. It's about finding the players who can take us to the World Cup. In